Okay, so let's talk about the fun part. Let's talk about how to create a soundproof environment when you're recording. We'll talk about the podcast itself. So you can get some ideas on how to create your podcast in some super easy steps. And I'm, of course, I'm going to show you how to record with Audacity. And this is Audacity right here. So let's jump right in. So earlier on, you saw this picture of this soundproof room. Now, obviously, creating a soundproof room, as you can see here, is going to cost you two, three, four, or five, or even ten thousand dollars. So, ideally, most of you are not going to have that type type of money to invest, unless you're really, really serious about, you know, creating, doing drums, doing music, and things like that. And I have to admit, I don't have even one piece of this equipment in my house. But I'm able to create high quality video simply because I have the microphone, I have the editing software, and that's important. But you also need to have a way to absorb the sound. Like for example, right now I am in a house that has hardwood floors. If you're aware of being in a hardware floor, you know, house in a room that has nothing just hardware floors you know that there is an echo that is created so you might be in a situation a similar situation where you don't really have carpet i will say if you have carpet you have curtains other things that will absorb the sound generally speaking your sound is going to be not as echoey so obviously we we'll want to get rid of that echo sound right so what I do is I'd recommend go to a room that has rugs, that has a bed. In fact, recording right outside in the room, in my bedroom, was actually the ideal place. Now, if you have sofas and other things like curtains that block your windows, that helps a lot in terms of absorbing the sound. Now, let's say, for example, that you do have a really noisy neighbor and you really can't get out of you know, the no noisiness, you're in an apartment and you're, it's noisy, then you're obviously going to have to find another solution. The last solution, which I would say is the last thing, is your car. Most people don't really think of your car as being a place that is more soundproof. Obviously, you're going to have to drive to a location that's a little bit more quieter, or you're going to have to find a friend who has a office that you could borrow that has carpet, has it's quiet, and things like that. <clears throat> now, having a good microphone is key too. If you have a condenser microphone, you can actually lessen the amount of sound so that meaning the louder you talk, it only picks up a certain amount of sound. So that way it doesn't really pick up the sound around you. It only picks up a certain direction. For example, cardioid microphone phones. Uh, there's separate different types of microphones that will only pick up at a certain direction. So even if you have somebody next door to you that is annoying the crap out of you and is loud, it's okay because that specific microphone will only pick up certain sounds. Now, higher pitch sounds it will pick up, lower pitch sounds it may not pick as much. But that's just a great way to create a soundproof environment is to use materials that you already have, like sofas, beds, and things like that, rugs, to absorb the sound. Now let's talk about the podcast itself, because I want to get into this. Before we actually record our podcast, I want you to understand, okay, you've done your research in video number two, and you figured out podcasts are similar to your niche and gotten some ideas from that. But a great way to create a podcast itself in a super fast amount of time is to think about question and answer time. So state the problem first, think about a list of questions so that you focus. You don't want the podcast to be too long, you don't want it to be you know, over 
15 or 20 minutes or too long because people have attention spans. People are have a short attention span and they have a limited amount of time. So because of that, you want to put it in a bite-sized chunks. It's better to have like a two to three, four, or max five minute podcast than have something like 10 minutes or 20 minutes, right? Because otherwise they're going to want more. So that's kind of a strategy that you can use. So I'd say create a list of two to three questions and state the question in a problem first in the form of a question, then answer that, elaborate on that, give examples of answers in real life. Then obviously see what other successful podcasts are doing. So get get ideas from that. So that way you don't reinvent the wheel. But like I said, don't record too long. Be concise, be straightforward, answer the question. Don't go on rants and ramble on and on and on because you'd be surprised five minutes can come fairly fast. In fact, right now is about the six-minute mark. Now let me talk about recording with Audacity. So let's jump right over to Audacity. If you haven't downloaded that yet, I show you exactly where to get that in the first video. Otherwise, go to Google, type in Audacity, as you can see here, and it's free. So with Audacity and you set up your microphone and everything like that, that should be set up. So when you click the record button, you should be able to go ahead and record it. Now with the intros and the outros done by a voiceover artist, all you have to do now is simply record your podcast. So what I want to do now is simply show you how to use Audacity to record a podcast. So the first thing I would do is, okay, you create a list of questions, say for example, this specific podcast, I'm going to show or talk about why you should create a podcast. So as you can see, all you have to do is click on this button here. Now before you click on that, I would highly recommend that you wait five seconds because here is a strategy. When you record, always wait the first five seconds because you want to record the room noise the air conditioners on things like that some sort of consistent noise because when you remove that noise and you basically remove it throughout the whole track you will remove that first five seconds of noise so here we go Okay, so I paused it. So you got pause, play, stop, and record. Now the beauty of Audacity is you can record a track, and once you get your intro and outro, you can simply place that underneath. So it's a multi-track system. So when we're done, I can click on pause. Ever wanted to create a podcast and learn how to instantly brand yourself and instantly drive tons of traffic to your podcast, which therefore you can then sell your other products and services. So if I click on stop there, you can actually see um, that we have created the audio here. Now, if I click on home, I can go back to home and I can click play. Now, I'm not going to show you how to edit it right now. I'm going to show you that in the next video. But I wanted to make sure you understand the basics on how to use Audacity. So as you can see, not really hard to use at all. Uh, you can increase the output volume here, which is the volume that you hear, and then the input volume here, which is the microphone itself. So if I click here, I can actually play So you can do that. You can start out by introducing yourself. It's up to you. Uh, because you have the intro of the person introducing yourself, then you have you can pretty much get started and talk about the podcast, talk about the content right away. So let's move on to the next video, and I'm going to show you how to use Audacity further and edit it further.